I know. Hey, everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Mr. Bear. And today I'm going to show you general deep breathing and relaxation exercises. This is the ninth video in my 10 day whole body wellness challenge. And if you're interested in joining and finding out more, stick around to the end. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert. Disclaimer alert. For this deep breathing relaxation routine, you don't need any equipment except a pillow if you want it. So we're going to go right into the deep diaphragmatic breathing. That will technically be our warm-up, but it's going to be our first exercise. So I'm going to go ahead and get going with that. So with the diaphragmatic breathing, sometimes placing your hand on your chest and one on your belly really helps get that uh, technique down. But you're just breathing in through your belly. and then breathing out. So not much air comes into your chest area. It can, but diaphragmatic breathing in through the belly. And then if you want to breathe out through your nose or your mouth, that's your choice. But diaphragmatic breathing is really nice because it helps the whole body relax. And we want everything to be relaxed for this to get started. So again, breathing in through the belly. Breathing out through your mouth if you want to, or through your nose. But if you feel like a lot's coming in through your chest area, really try and breathe in through your belly. Don't force it out just to make the movement. Really try and breathe in through that belly area. So after you've done that, we're going to do box breathing. So box breathing is kind of how it sounds. You're going to breathe in for four, hold for four, breathe out through four, hold through four. Really imagine, follow a, a square with your eyes while you're box breathing. So breathing in, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, let out, one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. I'm gonna do it now in, hold, let out, hold. So making the imagery with it really helps as well. And so it's a little hard for me to get in the groove while I'm talking with you. So I'm just gonna breathe through now. And so you can also, again, with the breathing out, if you'd rather breathe out through your mouth, you can as well. I just, I like doing it, breathing it all in through my nose and out through my nose. But if you'd like to breathe out through your mouth, you can. So then the next one is going to be chest breathing. We're going to be doing really big breathing movements in through our chest and making a jumping jack movement with our arms. So coming in. letting it out through your mouth. So this one is big in through your chest, letting it out through your mouth. When you breathe in, come all the way up, try and reach up towards the ceiling, and then let it all out. Reach, 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 lift up that spine. Breathe it all the way out. So this is great not only for relaxation, even though you're moving a little bit, but it helps stretch out that spine and helps relax all those muscles in that upper body. So again, breathing in. Reach, 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 reach. Breathing out. Again, this one I actually like breathing out through my mouth, but you can breathe out through your nose as well. So breathe in. Reach and breathe out. So your choice, whatever works best for you. Okay. 
So now we're kind of getting everything nice and relaxed. We're gonna lie down now and we're gonna go into some pelvic tilts. So go ahead and prop your legs up. And a pelvic tilt is just like it sounds. You're still doing some nice diaphragmatic breathing with this. And then once we start, you're rotating that pelvis back, flattening out that back and holding that pelvic tilt for maybe three to five seconds while you're doing that nice deep breathing. So you can see I'm kind of doing that movement with my breathing. So as I'm breathing out, I'm going into that pelvic tilt. And then when I breathe in, I'm letting go. So after you get all that loosened up, now we're gonna go into some trunk rotation. So just keeping your knees together, keeping your feet together, you're just gonna gently roll your legs over as far as you comfortably can without rolling off of whatever you're on and then just holding that stretch. So getting a nice stretch in there. So rolling, and this is gonna be that full 30 second hold. Still doing that nice diaph diaphragmatic breathing. As you can see with that one, when I let out, I was able to rotate just a little bit more into that stretch. You might hear my tummy rumbling around a little bit too. And then go into the other side. And it's okay for my hips to roll up a little bit, but you want to keep your upper back and your shoulders down. We'll go back to the other side now. And again, these should be nice and relaxing. They shouldn't be painful. Don't try and push yourself or force yourself. You're just relaxing these muscles. So next we're gonna go into a knee to chest. And so again, it's just like it sounds, you're bringing your knee up to your chest. I like keeping my other knee bent up. Some people like straightening it out to get a hip flexor stretch on the other side. So your choice of what you wanna do. I also like to grab underneath, but if you don't have any knee issues, you can grab up on top. So just pulling that knee towards your chest holding right there and making sure it's comfortable, no pinching or anything. Toes can be up or down. I like mine up. And then again, just doing that nice diaphragmatic breathing. Just 
For this one, I'm gonna put the other leg down to get a little hip flexor stretch because mine on my left side always needs a little extra stretch in there. So bringing that knee up and sliding that one down and then do your nice breathing. So I'll put the other one down for this one just to kind of even things out a little bit. Knee up, leg down. And you see I'm pulling both of my toes up just to get that extra stretch in there. And then I'll keep the knee up for this one, but you do whichever one is most comfortable for you. So then the next one is going to be bringing both knees up together or a double knee to chest just to get that nice stretch all around. Same thing if you have some knee issues you can grab underneath. If you don't have any knee issues you can grab just kind of almost giving yourself a bear hug as long as you can bring them up and they're that comfortable. So you can come in like this and hold it or if you have some knee issues and putting that pressure on there is uncomfortable you can hold it like this as well. Nice deep breathing. Let that tummy push into your legs as you breathe in. And then I'll grab around for the second one. So now we're gonna come up into all fours or quadruped. And we're gonna do some cat cows. So when you come down into a cow, that's when you're breathing in. And then when you go up into a cat, that's when you're breathing out. So breathing in and breathing out. making sure your hands are in alignment with your shoulders stacked on top of each other and try and keep your feet flat and straight out.
So the next one's going to be a child's pose or a prayer stretch. So you can either start with your hands out and go back, or you can go back and then slide them forward. So I'll do one each way, and you can just decide whichever one's most comfortable for you, but still a 30-second hold for these. So I'm going to start with my hands out and then come down. Or as you're going down, you're sliding your hands forward. So you can try that movement as well. And then one of my favorites is the corpse pose. And so with the corpse pose, you're just placing your hands out with your palms up and your feet just slightly rolled back and just do some nice deep breathing while you relax. And if you need to readjust a little bit, or if you just want to lay through the whole thing, even in between the break, just nice and relaxed. So there you have it. Those were general deep breathing and relaxation exercises. That was the ninth video in my 10 day whole body wellness challenge. If you've missed some of the other videos, make sure and click on the playlist up there. And if you want to find out more and join in, that's right, Mr. Bear, click on the link below in the description. Yeah. And, and tell them to come back tomorrow. Okay. Make sure you come back tomorrow and remember, be safe, have fun. And I hope you feel better soon.